we have the new shape Ford Fiesta ST line on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a three door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot you'll notice we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Work our way back round to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. The seats are as good as new. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, we've got the fuel gauge and cooling temperature gauges. And then above that, we have a trip computer, which also displays the total miles on this car of 9,571. You can change the information displayed there for various different types of menus. Uh, you can have a digital readout for the speedometer, for example. Uh, there's a driver assist menu, satellite navigation, audio, your telephone, settings, and then back around to the trip computer again. Uh, all of those uh, movements I was making, they're all done with the controls on the right-hand side of the steering wheel just here. Uh, you can also see there we've got uh, phone controls and voice activation for the phone. So hit that button. Ask it to dial any one of your contacts list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. Uh, that is of course once you paired up your phone and I'll show you where that's done in just a moment. On the left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter and then the stereo controls are continued along the bottom just there. Uh, up on here is where you can pair your phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found amongst other things of course so that's very easy to do just follow those instructions on screen you'll see this car has got satellite navigation there's a full video showing how that works on our website uh, and on our facebook page uh, both of which are well worth checking out music wise we've got plenty of options there as well so we have am and fm radio as well as dab digital radio uh, you then have bluetooth audio so once you pair up your phone not only can you make and receive phone calls but you can stream music wirelessly uh, via Bluetooth as well. There are also two separate USB inputs, so once you plug devices into those, you have extra boxes appear up there. Below that, we have the volume for the stereo, and then the air conditioning. Uh, so, fan speed is adjustable on the left. Temperature on this right-hand dial here. You can determine where within the car you'd like the air to be distributed, and then hit that button to turn the air conditioning on, and then, of course, again, to turn it back off. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature that you've set. Below that, we have a 12 volt charging socket and one of the two USB inputs, a six speed manual gearbox. And we have these buttons here. So we can put the car in eco mode. We can uh, turn off the traction control, just in the middle there. And we can turn off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out uh, when you're stationary in traffic, which will save you fuel. Hit that button to turn that system off. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.